Welcome to the Central Branch of the Free Library of Philadelphia. The Free Library was founded by Dr. William Pepper at City Hall in 1891. After a few location changes, the Free Library opened its doors for the first time in 1927. Located near the heart of, city, of Center City in Logan Square, you don't have to travel to Europe to explore these examples of classical order right in your neighborhood. Nestled between new and old architectural marvels, the library built library's building tells the story of tradition, literacy, and accessible resources. Beautiful buildings like the Franklin Institute and the Academy of Natural Sciences surround the historical fountain of the Three Rivers, a central landmark designed by, in 1924 by Aunt Alexander Sterling Calder. The Free Library is easily recognizable from the outside architecture. Closely modeled after the Hotel de Creon in Paris, France, the Free Library demonstrates elements of classic Greek and Roman architecture. Number one on this map points to the triangular pediment that displays a sculpture of children and adults reading and carrying books. Keeping with the library's resources, bookbinding tools are the backdrop to the pediment's sculpture. Number two points to the columns that incorporate Corinthian architectural order, including acanthus leaves capital at the top of the columns. The bottom half of the building, shown near number three, incorporates a more modern brick pattern. Even the trees of the Free Library are carefully planted by landscape architect Jacques Gerber to shade the steps, as seen here next to number four. Together, these four elements provide a breathtaking assemblage of intricate planning and ex exec executing beauty. Inside the building, we see architectural remains consistent with the outside appearance. Many of the doorways also incorporate Greek models of triangular pediment, much like the building's facade. Downstairs, a scale model shows the windows, columns, trees, and steps in a wholly engaging way. The model allows the viewer to take in the building in a new way. Other gems of the art world fill the library to make it intricate inside and out, leading to a worthwhile visit for tourists and Philadelphians alike.